welcome back. I am in Lion's Arch for the very first time. And I'm tripping right now because I came across this area. And you can see here that it's got your vendors uh, for different things. Farewell. But you see all of these little blue doors? They're like portals to different areas. And I think these might be portals to dungeons, which is blowing my mind. I've been playing MMORPGs since before WoW. Ashran's Call was my first one, I think. No, Ultima Online. Wow, this is so long ago. I can't even remember what they are now. <laughs> but um, I have not seen an area that's set up like this. WoW is definitely the longest one because it took up 12-ish years of my life. But I'm so impressed because this shows that they value players' time. I'm going to Google this because I don't know what this is. I, wait, one minute. Hold on. I'm speechless. This is where you go to do a raid. You, you come here. Is that a bank? OMG. I have so much to do. Are you kidding me right now? Everything that you need to do what you need to do is right here. Your bank, your vendors, repair. You just come here. And then it's like, okay, you're ready to go. And wow, you have to go to the area where the dungeon is and then go in the dungeon. Or they have things called summoning stones. And somebody has to be there, and then you can uh, teleport your party to you. But with this, there's no extra responsibility. Everybody just go to Lion's Arch. And Lion's Arch is a main city hub. It's right here. In comparison to WoW, WoW started, WoW started removing portals from their main cities, making it less convenient to be able to travel around and do what you needed to do. And this area has the theme of it's under construction. So they can add as many portals as they need. I am mind blown. As big as this is, I wonder if this is the focus. More raids. Future time! Okay, when I was editing the other video, it bothered me that I never went through any of the portals. And I was thinking about it. It's like, okay, if I were me, I'd want to know what happened. So I'm being quite shallow right now because looking to see how cute this one is. This is my first portal. That one at the very top was the first one that I saw, so I'm, I'm probably going to go through that one. Um, as you can see, I have discovered skins, discovered how to train a pet, um, I can't go in. Maybe because I'm not in a party of 10? Or could it actually be it knows I don't have what it needs and it just simply won't allow? If that's the case, I find that so impressive. Oof. I do. So maybe you have to be in a group already to go through. Well, no materials are quite glide. I have gliding. I said materials, but I meant masteries. I'm mind blown. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I, I realized that that came out of my mouth wrong. I'm... That's so good. That's so good. That is so good. Uh, so yeah, there's more Guild Wars 2 videos coming after this. I've been playing. I, I'm, you see, I've leveled up a little bit. Still have a lot to learn. 
but I finished the personal story. Now back to the other video if I edit this right. Look at this. Can you believe? And no, I didn't have to stand there. It's just habit. In other games, you have to go to the waypoint, the, the waypoint to do something. Not in this game. I'm, I'm learning to break the bad habits, little by little. Um, but you see that door right ahead of me? There's another set of portals over there. So if these are raids, what are those? See what I mean? Now see, there's these other portals. Then there's that big red one. Okay, the red one I know is, the, the pinkish one is fractals, I think? Not Google time. These are PVP portals. I Googled it. I Googled it because I wanted to know. They're, they're, they're PVP portals. And that main one is fractals. OMG. It's me again. Future time. I was a little pussy and I didn't go through the, the, the portals there either. So we're doing it now. We're, we're doing it now. Let's see if it lets me through. It may not let me through. Oh dear God. I didn't go here. It put me here. It put me here at the tutorial. Because it it's educating me. Oh my god. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Yes, I want to know. Okay, um. Yeah, what is that? I am. It's teaching me how to play before I go in. I, a rumor of a treasure vault it's in speaking! Place. Those who have found it say that you'll need a key to gain access to its treasure. Be sure not to lose your keeps and towers while seeking these riches. The Legion calls. You have a lot to learn, recruit, but I'm going to teach you how to survive and win out here. Yes! The goal is to capture and hold key points, because doing so provides us with extra power we can use against our enemies. Let's begin by going over the areas we'll need to capture and hold. Teach me how to whoop that ass! That's what I want! <laughs> this is amazing! It's, and it's so simple. It's something so simple. Towers are worth their weight in gold. Control one of these locations, and you'll control the local roads. A tower also makes for a great base of operations. But how many times, as a new player to something, and you have no idea what you're doing? None. You're just going in there winging it, you know? Or maybe Keeps you Googled massive it. massive structures that require a significant, sustained effort to capture. You will need siege weapons and a large group of adventurers to breach a keep's walls and defeat its lord. Okay. I didn't want to interrupt you because I respect your education. Oh, my God. I, I'm, this is when you know you played a, a game too long, because this is a good example of, you know how Tarzan goes from branch to branch? Well, you can't get that other branch if you keep holding on to the back one. And see, I almost did the same thing and not explore this because I'm that mind blown, but I want to know this. I'll bet you this is just like the other. It has everything you need to go into battle on point. I'm 
and you don't have to go running around where, you know, the auction house is on one side, the vendors are on the other side, the bank is to the right and everything's at the left, and then you have to go and go to the world and jump into where it is. Now, the trade-off with that is I'm curious if you're able to directly, like if you're traveling in the world and you come across one of these places, can you just enter in? Like, well, you know, let me get the hero points here and then go over inside um, if you're in that area. But wow, I'm just... People were telling me to get into Guild Wars 2. And Guild Wars 1, actually. And I didn't do it because I was on that wow she's cute she's cute I was on that wow train um, because Guild Wars 1 I think came out within months of wow but I was in beta wow so um, and it took me a lot to get out of Ashrin's call to be honest with you to go into wow so I am really really impressed about this I've been playing a lot I made a guardian I know, right? I made a Guardian and I'm having a problem. You know, do I play the Guardian? Do I play... And I leveled it up. I used some of my tomes. But do I play the Necro? The Ranger? I haven't done any Elite Specializations yet. Because I want to make a decision and it's tough, man. It's tough. And I've been thinking about playing Guild Wars 1. I love it. So anyway... I wanted to share... I've, I was going to show you and then I'm now I'm just sharing an experience. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.